What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadow Blade from Bloodshot Records, also known as DK Customs or Retro Gamer. Now, as many of you guys know, the other day I left the music scene to, you know, really take a break and kind of explore other things that I can do to make money so that I can one day eventually come back and, you know, you know, pick back up on my music. All right. Well, the other day I was. You know, in some of my stuff, you know, I was reading through some of the comments. And people are just wondering why I didn't respond to this dumbass, like, right away. Why I didn't just rip him up right then and there. But I was scrolling through, and, you know, obviously my girlfriend, you know, she commented on my video, liked it. Um, she also stood up to this guy named Gavin B, who, as you guys know already by now, you know, has been giving me shit for the last several months. And one of the comments, I guess he's seen one of my live streams on here and decided to run his mouth. And when he ran his mouth, he not only ran his mouth about me, he ran his mouth about her and her three kids. Because if you guys don't know, my girlfriend does have three kids who are my entire world. You know, she has two sons and a daughter. Love those kids to death. But this man not only talks shit about me, he talks shit about her and her kids. And Gavin, I didn't want to do this, bro. I really didn't. But the minute that you put my girl and her kids' name in your mouth, that's the that's right there is where you fucked up. And I figured instead of, you know, just doing it like I normally do, doing a diss track, I figured why not embarrass you? The same way you try to embarrass me every fucking day. I'm tired of you running your goddamn mouth. And it's time to put an end to your ass right the fuck now. And I ain't taking it lightly either, little bitch. Yeah, I ain't Sitting there acting like you motherfucking know me But in reality, you know nothing about me So, how the fuck you gonna sit there and talk shit about my girl My two sons and my daughter You don't know what it's like to be a motherfucking father To the kids of another father Who didn't give a motherfucking shit about them What do you know about responsibility? What do you know about taking care of your motherfucking felony? You know nothing about me. You want to step up to the mic? Go ahead, little bitch. Do something. I am so sick of you running your motherfucking mouth. And you like your uh, motherfucking hard ass butt. We all know that you ain't motherfucking shit. So, yo. Little motherfucking punk ass better step the fuck up Out of the way before I treat you like a motherfucking dog Better hit you with that motherfucking four choke Lay your ass out in the motherfucking grave Better yet I'll treat you like I'm from Motherfucking name, just a mayhem man Hit you like a rama with that motherfucking bow and arrow One shot, one kid is online Motherfucker need to lay your ass out Cause unlike you, I'm a motherfucking sniper upon the motherfucking rooftop. By the end of it, you won't hear me, but you'll feel the shot. And I laugh as I watch a motherfucking body rock and drop right into your motherfucking grave where your ass is gonna motherfucking land. You wanna step there and claim you're the best bitch? Go ahead. Hit me up on motherfucking grid to hit me up on motherfucking phones on horizon. Hit me up on anything that you motherfucking wanna do, boy. I earn this. Yeah, I earn this motherfucking reputation every motherfucking day. Giving all my motherfucking blood, sweat, and tears. You're fucking with me, you're fucking with my blood. Yeah, and when you're fucking with blood, you're fucking with me. 
When the fuck came, when shot and yo, fucking with the whole goddamn team of bloodshot weapons in. We ain't gonna take little motherfucking faggot ass bitches like you very lightly. Yeah, didn't you know that I am quick ass? Motherfucking lightning, I'll end you. One shot, one kill. You ain't nothing but a motherfucking troll and a faggot ass hater. Thinking that he's gonna get rich off the motherfucking hating ass comments that you leave. But in reality, you ain't nothing but a faggot ass little keyboard warrior. At the like suck when in reality, we all know that you ain't motherfucking shit to me. Compared to me, you ain't shit. Compared to you, I'm a motherfucking demigod, bitch. I'll run this underground. What the fuck you gonna do? Plain and simple, Gavin. Your ass is done. I'm tired of you running your fucking mouth about me, about my girl, about her three kids who I see as my own. You know nothing about responsibility, little fucker. You sit there and run your mouth about me, telling me to get out, that I can't even take care of myself, first off. Which, that's a fucking lie. Just because I live at home, don't be, that don't mean I don't take care of myself. Yeah, I'll admit, I might not be making much money from the music, but one thing you don't realize is I also run a custom clothing shop where I get people from the UK, US, all over the fucking world buying my shit. So yeah, I make a real living, little faggot. You can talk shit about a man all you want, but you talk shit about a man's family like you did with me, that's where you fuck up. That's where you cross the line. And you want to sit there and call me out on my artwork? Saying that I'm a thief, that I'm this and I'm that? Reality check for you, brother. I ain't no thief. Everything I do is my own. You know, you've been harassing me for far too fucking long, little boy. And I just ended your ass. Because like I said, dude, compared to you, I'm a motherfucking demigod in this shit. All right? I'm one of the best in the underground. You can ask anybody that knows me. Anybody that knows me, knows my music, has heard my music. They know I'm one of the best in the underground. I might be underrated, but guess what, dude? You're talking to the guy that stood up on Reverb Nation as number one for five years running, boy. Five fucking years. What you know about that? What you know about being at the top of Reverb Nation for five plus years? All you want to do is you want to sit there and run your mouth like you're a hard ass. But we all know you ain't shit, bruh. Like, seriously, man. You want to sit there and run your mouth about me? Acting like you know me, but reality is, bro, you know nothing. You know nothing about responsibility. You know nothing about me, my life, my girl, or her kids. So honestly, you need to keep my name out your mouth. You need to keep my girl's name out your mouth. And you definitely need to keep my girl's kids out your mouth. Because seriously, dude, you ain't nothing but a little punk-ass wannabe hater. Acting like you know me, but you don't. You can leave all the fucking hating bullshit comments you want, dude. But in reality, they mean nothing to me. But the one that does mean something to me is when you fucking put my kids and my girl's name in your mouth. That's where you fucked up. And that's why I just destroyed your little fucking ass. So like I said, dude, you want to come at me? Stop hiding behind the fucking computer screen like a little bitch. Get up on the mic or get behind the camera or in front of the camera and make a video or do a diss track. Seriously, man, stop hiding like a little bitch. Because that's all you've done. Every time I've confronted you, you've done nothing but fucking hide and run like a little fucking bitch coward. That's all you've ever done. You sit there and run your mouth about me, try to get those little fake-ass art police after me when we all know the art police don't fucking exist. 
you want to sit there and try to ruin my career, but all you end up doing, literally, dude, all you end up doing is failing. That's all you end up doing at the end of the day is fucking failing. All you want to do is talk shit, run your mouth, and try to ruin my career. Well, guess what, dude? Enough is enough. You are not ruining my career. You are not ever going to be as good as I am, dude. I have worked my ass off for this career, for my art career, and for everything that I've done. I have worked my ass off. I have had nothing handed to me. I have busted my ass since day one. I have not had any handouts at all. I have worked my ass off to the fucking bone to get to where I'm at. Ask anybody that knows me. Anybody that knows me, especially my brother Sean Sands. He's been there since day one. He knows firsthand how hard I've worked my ass off. So like I said, dude, you want to come with me? Come correctly or don't come at all. Stop having me on the computer screen like a little coward and fucking do something, man. Because like I said, every time I confront you, you ain't got the balls to do anything. All you do is you sit there and you run your fucking mouth. You ain't got the balls or the guts to go against me. And let me tell you something, dude. I did not want to tear you down like I just did. But you want to know something? You left me no choice. The minute that you brought my girl and her kids into it, that's the minute that you asked for an ass whooping. Because a real man doesn't bring another man's family into his situation. It's between him and that person, not him and his family. You don't see me bringing your family into it, do you? No. Will I bring you and your little fucking bullshit wannabe crew into it? Yeah, I will, because guess what? You and your whole crew have been talking shit about me, including that fake-ass fucking art police. Every day, y'all fucking harass me, not only on here, on YouTube, on basically everywhere where, on all my social media where I post my stuff. You guys fucking harass me, and I'm fucking done with it. It's you motherfuckers that made me want to leave in the first fucking place. Y'all are the reason why I wanted to leave fucking music behind for a while. Because I'm tired of the fucking drama. Alright? I'm just a simple music artist and painter trying to make a living for his family. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just a regular guy trying to get by. But what do you do? You come up on here on social media acting like you're a fucking hard ass. When really you're nothing but... I want to be. You're a fake. You're a poser. You're a fucking troll who needs to be put in his fucking place. Matter of fact, I got something on hand to prove to you my reputation as a digital painter and artist. I got something for your ass. And I just happen to have it on hand. Ah, uh, now. While you sit there and run your mouth with no reputation, I'm out here every day earning reputation through my art. And you want to know something, dude? This right here proves that I am above you. How many motherfuckers you know that have a famous person rocking their artwork every fucking day? If you don't know who this is, do your fucking history, boy. That's Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger 
from Power Rangers as well as Bloodshot from Valiant. And let me tell you something. Having his respect on top of one of the best painters in the world, Katie Joggle, who is actually one of my favorite artists, you know, having their support is more than what you got. Because compared to me, you don't have a single thing going for you. Except that shitty little YouTube channel that has no views and like no subs. So like I said, homie, you want to talk shit about me? You want to talk shit about my career? Stay out of my lane. Stay in your own lane and worry about yourself. Stop running your mouth about me and being worried about me. Stop worried about what I'm doing and worry about your damn self. Because let me tell you something, dude. I didn't just have this handed to me. I worked my ass off every fucking day of my life for this. If you don't believe that's mine, hmm, let's see. Here's my official Shadow Blade character. Shout out to Snowbell for sending me that. I fucking love you for that. You rock. But what's that? What do you see right there? That wasn't just made up. I guarantee you, you can go on this fan page, look up my name right now, and you will find this. Because guess what? This right here, boy, this right here, Gavin, is a testament to my success as an artist. That is pure fucking fact. That is a pure testament to my success as a digital artist, as a painter, as an artist. Something I have worked my ass off for since I was a little kid. So like I said, bruh, run your mouth about me all you fucking want. I give zero fucks. But like I said, you need to keep my name, my girl's name, and her kid's names out your mouth. Otherwise, I will come back on here and I'll keep embarrassing you and keep embarrassing you and keep on calling you out until you fucking shut up. Until you shut the fuck up. Or if I have to get the police involved, I'll do that too. But seriously, man. If you want to come at me like you're acting like you want to come at me, you know, stop hiding behind your computer screen like a little bitch. Get in front of a camera, make a video, or get up on the mic and do a diss track against me. Do something. Stop hiding like a fucking coward. Because like I said before, every time I confront your ass, all you do is you run and hide like a coward. That's all you fucking do, bro. You run and hide like a coward. But now that I destroyed your ass, I'm done. I am fucking done ripping your ass apart and picking you apart. Right now, I got more important shit to do. I got fucking clothing to sell. I got shit to do, man. I have a fucking shop to run. So I'll see your punk ass probably never. So like I said, you want to come at me, do it correctly or don't come at all. So while you're out there faking money, dude, I got to get on the grind, get back up, and get my money. Because like I said, while you're faking money, I'm always sitting here making money, boy. I might not be able to take it out or withdraw it, but it's still money in my pocket. So while you're faking money, I got real money to make. I got a living to make here, dude. So I'll catch your little punk ass later. And to all the supporters out there, like Retro Fan, I see you, bro. Keep on repping, homie. Fucking love it, dude. 
Love every single one of you supporters out there, man. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.